let's address the elephant in the room that I don't have any eyebrows. <laughs> well, hello everybody. Happy day five of Vlogmas. Today I am revamping my hair once again. The last time I did a video like this, I did my ultraviolet hair, which I really liked, don't get me wrong, but one and only argan oil, like I do mention later on, did send me over a bunch of product. <laughs> so I went ahead and mixed up some colors and I'm going to put them on my head and see what happens. And don't think I didn't guys, today I did not forget gloves. So I'm also gonna show you how I turn my eyebrows <laughs> normal but colorful because I've been wearing colorful eyebrows lately and it is so cute. So if you are interested in any of this, please stay tuned. Tomorrow I have a really exciting video for you. It is a um, compilation of like extra videos that I took throughout the year. So I hope that you guys look forward to that. So I'm going to stop rambling and we are going to get started. <laughs> so I mean this lighting doesn't really do my hair justice right now, but my hair is really like a light blue and it does have purple in it, which I'm going to go ahead and part out. Um, but I also have a little bit of teal left over in it. I like having like little chunks of different color in my hair because when I curl it, it looks really cool. So I'm just gonna take out most of the purple and all the rest of this is gonna be colored with this really, really pretty teal color. It's a lot darker. Um, ginger, be careful. It's a lot darker here than it is on the head. I might have to actually add a little bit more. If you guys are old enough to live in Windsor and remember hyperspace, uh, like wheels where we went to go skating and like play, um, the theme of hyperspace was purple and teal. And ever since then I've wanted purple and teal hair. So hopefully today that's what we get. I don't really need much explanation from here. This is a semi-permanent hair dye. It is not penetrating in my hair. It is not damaging to my hair at all. There is no ammonia inside of it. It is perfect for everybody. So I'm gonna start off with the teal and then I'm gonna go in with the purple. Okay, so I don't have much of this purple left, but I still want a little bit of like a purpley color in my hair. So I'm gonna mix magenta with the rest of my purple and a little bit of my whatever is left of the electric, or sorry, midnight blue. So that is how we will achieve a purpley color for my hair. And I do like to recycle. I don't really ever buy a designated container for hair dye. I just use whatever I have around the house. I don't have very much hair on my head that's purple anymore. I have a couple of chunks. So I've used this before, this color. You guys have not seen me use it. Hello Ace. This is Electric Teal. I just want to thank one and only Argan Oil so much for sending over some product for me to experiment with. So this is the Electric Teal. I really like this color. It looks a lot darker on camera. This color combo and I think that this is something that I could be inspired by for some makeup looks. So let's get started. So I'm just making sure that everything is saturated. I think this is going to be more of a darker look that I want, but once again, I just want to be swampy, that's all. So I'm just going to rinse this off my gloves and then, well actually I'm going to put this up first. I know that it's like all over the place, but I'll show you how easy it is to get this stuff off because it does not stain. It does not stain your skin. It doesn't stain anything actually. It's really good for coming out. 
Okay, so now you can clearly see that this part of my hair is purple and I would like to keep it that way. So I'm going, actually, you know what? I'm going to be evenly part of it. It's all going to be the same color. I'm okay if a little bit of blue like sticks in with this. I'm okay with this little chunk of my hair being a totally unique color. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and saturate whatever is purple. very much of this because I didn't think that I would need very much of it and I don't I don't because it's pretty much already saturated I'll go ahead and wrap that back up in a clip and I will leave all of this for probably a good 45 minutes and I'll check back in with you after it's washed out Okay, so um, I've been doing color eyebrows lately because obviously I don't really have eyebrows. I bleached them. And I've been using just random liquid lipsticks to draw my eyebrows on. And today I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Guess. And just a normal like lip brush because I think it's more precise. So I'm just going to draw the other one on really quick and you can see how I do it.